this is a video response to Nomad Warrior 2007 uh, in my video dealing with Sola Scriptura. Nomad Warrior 2007, I've got to admit, you are a theological disaster. You're not a theological disaster waiting to happen, you're already a theological disaster. Uh, I was asking you to give me biblical evidence and to support Sola Scriptura. And as I knew you would, you ran to the verse that a lot of people use in, in uh, 2 Timothy, all scripture is given by inspiration of the Holy Spirit and is prof profitable for doctrine. Don't have no problem with that. I agree with it. But where the, in there does it say that only the Bible is profitable to us? It doesn't say anything in there about sola scriptura. Now then, let's take the verse of scripture you use and put it in its proper context. When Paul is talking about all scripture, do you realize that there's not even a canon of the New Testament established at that time? And that not, not all of the Bible was completed at that time? There was no canon of scripture. Uh, as far as the New Testament is concerned, when Paul wrote that. And if you read the entire thing in context, beginning at uh, verse 1 through 17, you will find out that Paul is referring to, and it can only have been, have been referring to, the Old Testament, which would have been the Septuagint that they were using at that time that he, was, that he would have been talking about. He had no idea about any other books being written. He was referring in context to the Old Testament, especially to the Septuagint as used uh, by Christians at that particular time. But do you know what the Septuagint confirms, uh, Nomad Warrior? Uh, inside the Septuagint was also found the books of the Bible used by the Catholic Church. That the Reformers, oh well, we don't like this, let's just throw them away. But the very scripture Paul was referring to included all the books used by the Catholic Church as well. So you've actually done nothing to prove Sola Scriptura. And I will state my case again. Your question is invalid until you can prove the doctrine of Sola Scriptura. Reading a verse of Scripture doesn't prove Sola Scriptura. I don't know what part of that you can't understand, but it's as simple as that. Reading a verse of Scripture does not prove Sola Scriptura. And once again, investigative judgment, soul sleep, those words are not even in the Bible. And when you used... Uh, the text you used talking about the Queen of Heaven, it showed that much more of your ignorance against the Catholic Church. Because the Catholic Church does not use that verse of Scripture when referring to Mary uh, as the Queen of Heaven. So, uh, sad case, Nomad, you failed again. So please give me some evidence of Sola Scriptura, and then I would be glad to show you where the Catholic Church gets it from, since you don't have the theological and the historical background to find out. Until next time, this has been Godless saying, God bless.